Hello lovelies, um, I'm doing this video tonight just to show you how to colour jeans because a lot of people say they have problems colouring jeans. Um, I'm going to use Pro Markers today and the first colour I'm going to start with is Pastel Blue. Um, I've got this cute little Edwin image, it's cool Edwin I think from Magnolia. Um, he's one of my favourites because he's very versatile and you can use him for a lot of different things. To start with, I'm just going to go over the whole area of the jeans with the pastel blue. Sorry if you can hear my cat whinging in the background. Um, I've always spoken to him, so he's a very chatty cat. And he doesn't like it when he's not centre of attention. So you might hear quite a lot from him as he's not getting my attention at the moment. Okay, so that's the first colour. Um, the next colour I'm going to use is Cornflower Blue. It's one of my favourite colours. And I'm just going to go over all the areas where there should be shading or shadow quite widely because this is not my darkest colour yet. And I always do all the seams with jeans because if you look at a pair of jeans the seams are always darker than the other bits. that'll do. The next colour is my darkest colour which is China Blue and I'm just going to go literally along the seams and shaded and shadowed areas but just quite a fine line
I'm not being too fussy about not going over the edges or anything because I'm going to cut them out afterwards anyway and you know even if I go over on like bits of thumb or something I can always blend the colour back in afterwards so I don't worry too much about that yeah, see I've gone onto his shoes there but it doesn't matter because I can fix that later Right, okay, the next colour I'm using is pastel beige, just to blend it all in. And it works really well to give that sort of denim-y stone wash effect. I'll probably then go back over again with the pastel blue afterwards, or pale blue. No, it is pastel blue. Because at the moment it looks a bit more yellowy than I actually want it to be. got my pastel blue again Okay, so that's blue jeans with prime markers. Um, I've also got another image, uh, one of the teddy bear images that I like. And I thought since I'm doing jeans, I'd do both black and blue. Um, right, so again, I start with my lightest colour, which is going to be cool grey 2. Because I find that cool grey 1 is just a little bit too light for the denim effect. This is a really nice image for colouring um, because it's got lots of areas where it shows you where the shading should be which makes it a lot easier if you're not very confident. Again I'm not going to worry too much about if I go over or anything because I can always blend it back if I need to. Next colour is cool grey 3 and again I'm just going to go quite widely over the shaded areas. Right okay I'm back again, sorry if you notice a little bit of a jump there, um, I ran out of memory again. I keep telling my other half to go through and delete some stuff and he keeps telling me he has but I don't believe him. So I'm going over with the cool grey 3 now.
as I was saying, this image is really good because you've got lots of areas where it shows you where the shading should be. So you really just follow what's there. denim anywhere that it shows that you've got a crinkle or a crease in the material like these bits here they would be darker because they always are with denim Now I'm going to use Cool Grey 4 and again I'm just going to go over those same areas but slightly smaller Okay, and then finally I'm going to go in with Cool Grey 5 and just do the very, very darkest bits.
Okay, and then I'm using pastel beige again to go over it all and give it that sort of stonewashed effect. And then I'll just quickly go back over again with the cool grey number two. And there you have your grey denim jeans. Okay, I will probably make something with these at some point, but um, I'm not sure how long that will take me. So um, I might pop back later with something made with them. If not, you'll be able to find it on my blog, probably in the next few days anyway. Okay, bye!